And now let's talk about China's direct adventurism with India. What's cooking on the Ladakh border? Last we checked, the process of disengagement was underway. Officially, the two sides are de-escalating, but what's the reality on the ground? Let's tell you what we know so far. As per our sources, no violence has been reported at the Pangong So Lake in Ladakh since the 18th of May. The two sides are said to be respecting the consensus reached during the military-level talks on the 6th of June. More meetings will be held. They're being held on a daily basis. And a gradual step-by-step -step disengagement is taking place. This is the situation in Ladakh, and this is the official version. But the Chinese state media is telling a different story. The Global Times released a report yesterday. According to this report, the PLA held a commissioning ceremony for a series of new weapons and equipment along the border. The headline reads, and I quote, China's most powerful howitzers join northwestern exercises amid border tensions. It goes on to state that China and India are currently in a new round of border tensions. Back in India, there are reports that the army has rushed fighting formations to forward locations in Himachal Pradesh, in Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. According to our sources, this is an annual affair. Both sides are set to train troops in summer. In a nutshell, there are troops, but this, this is not extraordinary. There is no specific mobilization related to what happened in Ladakh, or so we are told. De-escalation is still work in progress. In the Finger 4 area, it could take months. Sources say the Chinese will want to delay as a face-saving tactic. In the meantime, we decided to decode the strategic postures of India and China. Where do they stand? How well fortified is India in comparison to China? A study was conducted by the Harvard Kennedy School in this regard, and we have compiled some data based on their research. Let's start with a military strength comparison. How well prepared is India? The Northern Army Command, which functions in the Ladakh and Himachal sector, is said to have 34,000 troops. The Central Army Command of Uttarakhand has a strength of 15,500 personnel. The Eastern Command forms the bulk of India's forces against China. It has a strength of 1,75,000. India's combined ground forces ready to take on China stand at 2,25,000. What about China? How is it placed? The Tibet military district is said to have 40,000 troops ready, to, ready for battle. The Xinjiang military district has a strength of 70,000. And the Western Theatre Command, which functions right along the line of actual control, has a strength of 90,000, anywhere between 90,000 to 1,20,000 troops. The combined ground forces stand at 2,4,000. Let's talk about the Air Force strength. India's Western Air Command is said to have 75 fighter, fighter aircraft and 34 ground attack aircraft. The Central Air Command, 94 fighter aircraft, 34 ground attack aircraft. And the Eastern Command has more than 101 fighter aircraft. India is said to have a total of 270 fighter jets ready to take on China. What about China? The Western Theatre Command is said to possess several unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. It has 20 precision aircraft UAVs, 20 precision strike UAVs, 12 ground attack reconnaissance UAVs and 12 medium altitude precision strike UAVs. Overall, China has 157 fighter jets ready for battle. If it boils down to a direct confrontation, the balance may be slightly tilted in India's favour. We do hope it doesn't come to that.